Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. I'm often asked to help my friends or family with various computer problems. One of the biggest pet peeves I come across when working on their machines is a cluttered or messy desktop. Many people tell me they put their files on the desktop so they'll be easier to find later. The flaw in that logic is as they continue to store files or folders on their desktop, it becomes a hot mess and it's almost impossible for anyone to find anything. A better way is to simply refuse to save anything to your desktop. In this article, I'll show you how to keep your desktop clean. Along the way, we'll also learn how to embrace the built-in file system and keep better track of the files you create. I will show you how to organize files into the built-in folder system on your Mac, how to create new subfolders for optimal organization, how to find any file in seconds, and also how to get screenshots to save somewhere other than to your desktop. Let's get started. The Mac operating system comes with a built-in set of folders to encourage a basic level of organization right out of the gate. These folders are located directly under the Users folder, as I'm showing here. They're already created to cover the basics like documents, movies, music, or pictures. You also see folders for some cloud applications that I have, like Google Drive and Dropbox. To begin cleaning your desktop, double-click on the Desktop folder and look through the files currently sitting there. For each file, determine if it is a document, movie, picture, or music file, then simply move it to the appropriate folder. If you're not sure where a particular file should go, put it in the Documents folder. That should be your default or catch-all folder, not your desktop. Congratulations, you now have a clean desktop. But you might notice that your Documents folder has some clutter to it. To organize your Documents folder, or any other folder for that matter, you may need to create some custom subfolders. You can create subfolders anywhere in the file system by either right-clicking on the window and choosing New Folder, or going up to the gear in the top part of the window and choosing New Folder as well. Once you've created the new folder, give it a name that makes sense. So I have some business and personal files here, so I'm going to create a personal folder and a work folder. Now that the subfolders have been created, I can drag those files into their appropriate folders with ease. With all of these folders within folders, you may be worried about how you will ever find a specific file quickly. Well, the Mac operating system ships with a very powerful indexing and search feature called Spotlight. To find any file using Spotlight, press Command Space at the same time and a search bar will appear on the top right corner of the screen. Start typing the name of the file you're looking for and before you finish typing, Spotlight will show a list of possible matches. Arrow down to the file that you're looking for and press Return. Lastly, saving screenshots in OS X is fun and easy. A quick Command Shift 3 will take a screenshot of the entire screen, while a Command Shift 4 will bring up some crosshairs to let you do a selection and grab. The only problem is that by default, OS X saves those screenshots to your desktop, as you can see here. If you take a lot of screenshots, that can get pretty messy pretty quick. Fortunately, there is a command that you can run to change the default save location for screenshots. In Terminal, run the following commands. First, defaults write com.apple.screencapture location and then your pictures folder then run kill all system ui server the first command sets all of your screenshots to go into your pictures folder storing screenshots in your pictures folder just makes sense they are pictures after all the second command resets your UI server so the changes will take effect without having to reboot your entire machine. It may feel a bit awkward at first, but forcing all of your files and folders off of your desktop and into a proper home will keep you more organized. That level of organization will help you get to your files faster and increase your overall efficiency. It will also help you achieve a higher level of computing zen and impress those of us that have to work on your machines from time to time. In this tutorial, I showed you how to organize files into the built-in folder system, create new subfolders for optimal organization, find any file in seconds, and move your screenshots to somewhere other than your desktop. Thanks for watching.